Hi, I'm Richard Myers, Head of Integrated Facility Management in Hong Kong. I was recently asked by a first-time visitor here what the real cost of real estate is in Hong Kong. In a recent report produced by Jones Lang LaSalle in Asia Pacific, there were a number of key findings, including the challenges Crest managers are up against, namely driving down total real estate costs and making the CRE portfolio highly responsive to the changing business environment. In order to achieve this, CRE managers need to look strategically and holistically at their portfolio. Much of the cost of affirmed real estate in Hong Kong sits in their rental, which is currently increasing year on year and breaking records due to limited new quality stock. Another large component, of course, to any business, regardless of its geographical location, is the cost related to HR. Whilst many organisations acknowledge rental to be a significant component of their operating expenses, some have been slow to recognise the changes needed to manage them more efficiently. More often than not, organisations are not embracing these drivers and sending up to the C-suite the real cost of the status quo and using them as a catalyst for change, if not now, but for their next review of their portfolio strategy. Specifically around IFM, we are tasked more and more to deliver tangible operating cost saves, often with a fee at risk component or the need to write a client a cheque if under a guaranteed maximum price model. However, many of our clients are tenants and whilst we deliver saves as promised and in cases more to collect our share of saves, the overall sum that we can influence is smaller than the cost say of rent. If we could control some of that spend, or at least come up with ideas on how to manage their space more efficiently, greater saves to the client could be realised. So, how can we help CRE managers look more strategically at their portfolio? There are a number of tools that we can, and approaches that we can use to help, including occupancy planning and alternate workplace strategies, neither of which are new but you would be surprised how many organisations actually don't look at these as strategic cost-saving strategies. I recently attended a number of briefing sessions around such strategies showcasing these initiatives. Clients were receptive, engaged and surprised to learn of some of the benefits of adopting these strategies and the longer-term financial benefits they can bring, thus effectively operating their space at a much higher efficiency. Just something to think about. Mm -hmm.